And, and I'm going to have my band ready. I'm going to use it right from the get go, but um, let's press our sits bones into the mat and then wrap your hands around your belly wide. So your pinky is down at your hip bone and your um, index finger is up at your top rib so that you can lift and lengthen everything in and up so you can feel that good. And then I want you to inhale, expand this whole region. So pelvic floor, side, body, belly, and then exhale, squeeze everything in and out. Inhale, expand. Exhale, squeeze everything in and out. Inhale, expand. Exhale, squeeze everything in and out. Good, inhale, let's grab your band. So if you're using weights, you don't need it yet. Don't use your weights yet. You could use your strap for this. So grab your strap or your band, take your arms wide and then inhale, expand your belly, lift and lengthen. Exhale, bring the band up. Inhale and then exhale, bring it back. Squeeze in and out. Good, and then inhale, expand your belly. Exhale, bring it down. Good. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze in and out. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come on down. One more time. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, squeeze the air out. Inhale, come on up. Leave your right arm here. Let your band come behind you. If you're not using one, that's fine. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, bend your elbow. Nice. Maybe just grab your right elbow first. Lift and lengthen. Exhale, squeeze it out. Good. Inhale. And then take this left arm around. Grab the band. Or you can, if your hands reach each other, you can do that. But inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, squeeze your out. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, squeeze your out. One more time. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, squeeze your out. Nice. And then Take the band in front of you again. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, come behind you. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come in front of you. Good, so take your hands wider, Elena. Inhale, arms up. So you don't have to use the band. Exhale, come back. Nice. Inhale, come on up. Release the band. Good, bend your elbow. So what if you don't have a band? Bend your elbow, make a fist. Press your head into your arm. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, grab your elbow, pull your belly in and up. Good, so if you have a band, inhale, bring your arm around. If you don't have a band, make a fist and just press your arms into you, press your head into your back, right? So just work with what you have. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, good, inhale, release, lift and lengthen. Exhale, bring the band on down, nice. And then we're going to, we'll just to take the, oh, let's take the band in our hands now. Take your elbows against your body. Inhale, lift and lengthen, squeeze the elbows against your body. So don't let them come off your body. So pretend that you have a hundred dollars in each armpit, right? And then pull it apart, inhale, exhale, come in. Pull it apart, inhale, exhale, come in. Pull it apart, inhale, exhale, come on in. One more time, pull it apart, inhale, exhale, come on in, nice. Take the band behind you and then take your hands forward. Now, what if you don't have a band? Then you can take your hands on, the mat and do shoulder ups like this, we're gonna all be there in a minute. So either way, you're gonna press into your mat or press into the strap and then just drop your shoulders, lift your shoulders. So we're doing shoulder ups. 
So first round, I'm gonna do them like this. So take the band in front of you, arms are straight, maybe of light weights, or you're on your hands and knees, good. And then pull your shoulders back, pull your shoulders forward. Pull your shoulders back. So you, when you pull back, your shoulder blades come together. When you press forward, your shoulder blades round. Good, pull back, press forward, pull back, inhale, exhale, press forward, pull back, press forward, good, release. And then let's just stretch your fingers, pull, lift and lengthen, exhale, inhale, exhale, good, switch hands. Press into your fingers, inhale, expand. Exhale, release. Inhale, expand. Exhale, release, nice. Let's make our way onto all fours. And if that's too intense for you, go back to the band. So bring your hands to the mat, press in your mat. And before you do anything, I want you to engage your belly. So pelvic floor, and then mid belly in and up, side belly in and up, good. And then press forward like your plank on your knees. And then just drop your chest, but don't bend your elbows. Keep your arms straight and then press it away. So this is shoulder strengthening. Good. Drop your chest. Press it away. Drop your chest. Press it away. Good. And then come forward. Pull your belly in and up. Pull yourself to the ground. Good. Hug your elbows in. Squeeze your low belly. Squeeze your upper belly. Cobra ups. Up. Down. Up, down, up, down, and then press on up. Child's pose. Take a moment. Press near your hands, stretch under your armpits. Nice. And then come up on all fours again. And then you're either on your knees or you don't have to be on your knees. We'll do those shoulder ups again. So pull your belly in and up so that your core is helping. And then lean forward, lift your legs forward, or lift your legs and then shoulder ups. Press down, press away. Down, press away. So the elbows don't bend. Press down, engage your belly. Press away, press down, press away, press down, press away. And then on your ears or not, come forward and pull yourself to the ground. Nice. Hug your arms in, cobra ups up. Down, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, good. Inhale, exhale, good. And then interlace your hands, pull your thumbs away. You can also grab the strap again. Nice, take your head to the right, bend your knees, go from side to side, release your hands, nice. Press all the way up, good job. And then let's do that one more time. So come forward to plank or plank on your knees. Good, and then shoulder ups down, press away. Down, press away, engage the belly. Down, press away, and then come forward and down. Nice, take your hands in front of you, bend your knees, go from side to side, turn your head to the right. Nice, turn your head to the left. And then bring your chin to the mat, your feet to the mat, take your hands next to you. Good, and then engage your pelvic floor, engage your belly, engage your side body, lift your chest, press in your feet, and then lift your arms. Five, four, see if by pulling into your belly, you get a little bit higher. One, good, right arm on top of left, bend your knees, turn your head to the right. Nice, come back to center, chin to the mat. Engage your pelvic floor, engage your belly, engage your sides, lift your chest, lift your arms. Five, four, see if you can get a little bit of height, but not too high, a little more length and height, one, and then left arm on top of right, turn your head, bend your knees, go from side to side. Nice. And then slide your hands next to you, hug your elbows in, come all the way up. 
Step your right foot forward. Press into your foot, engage your pelvic floor, belly, side body, nice. And then reach your arms up. Take your elbows out to the side, lift and lengthen, and then bring your elbows in. Come back, exhale. Inhale, expand. Exhale. Inhale, expand, bring your elbows together, open your hands, pull them apart. Good, and then exhale, fingertips on either side of your right leg, pull that right leg back, come forward. Back, come forward, back, come forward, nice. And then hands to the mat, on your knees or not, pull forward and down. And then low cobra, hug in, cobra ups, down, up, down, claw the mat, up, down, up, and then press on up, inhale, exhale, step your left foot forward, hands around your tummy again. Good, press in your feet, squeeze that left glute, and then lift and lengthen. Reach your arms up and out to the side, Lift your heart, good. And then inhale, exhale. Put more weight on that front foot nearly. Inhale, yes. Exhale, inhale, elbows together. And then open your hands, pull them apart. Nice. And then fingertips on either side of your left foot, pull back and then exhale, squeeze it in. Pull back. Exhale, squeeze it in. Pull back. Good. Come on to your knees and one more time, cobra pose. So on your knees or not, pull in and up. Come forward and down. Cobra ups, hug in. Calm down. Hug in. Calm down. Hug in. Come on up. And let's first do a puppy pose. So walk your hands in front of you on either edge of the mat. Pull your pelvic floor in and up. Pull your belly in and up and feel length so that your back is like a V. It's nice and flat. You can rest the top of your head on the mat. You can rest your chin on the mat. Good. And then inhale, fill up. Exhale, pull in and up. Inhale. Fill up, exhale, squeeze the air out. Inhale, walk your hands a little bit forward. Press on up into bent knee, downward facing dog. Good, and then pelvic floor, upper belly, bringing your chest towards your legs. Inhale, expand, exhale, yes. Nice, Marilee. Inhale, good. The, your hands are on either side of your, your arms are on either side of your ears. Exhale, good. Inhale, exhale, good. And then bend your knees, look forward, walk or float to the front of the mat. Come to flat back, lift and lengthen. Your head's in line with your shoulders. Pull your belly in and up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms up. Lift and lengthen. Exhale, hands to your heart. All right, we're just gonna focus on our breath for a moment. So first we're gonna turn into these Malasana squats to open our inner thighs. So hands to your heart, inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, squat. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, squat. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, squat. Take your arms on the inside of your legs. Push your arms into your legs, your legs into your arms. Nice. And then heel toe your feet together. Come to flat back. Stay there or fold. Exhale. Inhale. Come all the way up. Exhale. Hands to your heart. Good. Lunges. Focusing on your breath. Come to the front of your mat. Hands on your waist. So squeeze in at your pelvic floor, your upper belly, your sides, press into your feet, squeeze your booty. Good, inhale, arms up, all the way up. 
Exhale, flat back or fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fingers down, right leg back. Crescent lunge, press into your legs. Now both your hip points should face forward. Squeeze your pelvic floor, squeeze your belly in and up, squeeze your side body, add your arms, inhale. Good, exhale, hands to the mat, down dog or rest. Good, inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale to the floor. Inhale, cobra, up dog, locust. Exhale, downward facing dog or puppy pose. Good. Squeeze your pelvic floor. Squeeze your belly in and up. Squeeze your side body. Inhale. Exhale. Good. And then right leg up behind you. Step your right foot to your right hand. Come into a lunge. Inhale. Lift and lengthen. Exhale. Left foot to right. Inhale. Come all the way up. Exhale. Hands to your heart. Left leg. Inhale. Squeeze in and up. Exhale, squeeze the air out. Inhale, flat back, lift and lengthen. Exhale, left foot back, crescent lunge, hip points forward. Exhale, hands to the mat, downward facing dog. Take a moment, pelvic floor, belly, side body. Good, stay there. Or inhale, come forward to plank. Squeeze that pelvic floor, squeeze your side body, good. And then forward and down. Yogi's choice, cobra, up dog, locust. Nice. And then come on up, downward face, facing dog. Find your breath, good. Inhale, exhale, take your left leg up behind you. Step it through to your left hand. Inhale, belly in and up. Exhale, right foot to your left. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Nice, we'll do that again. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, squeeze the air up. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, right leg back, drop your knee. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to the mat. We're gonna make our way into forearm plank. So come all the way down. Good, claw the mat. Inhale, sphinx pose. And then exhale, pull that low belly in and up, that upper belly in and up, lift your hips. Exhale, come on down, work the mat. Good, inhale, lift your hips. This time maybe also lift your knees. Keep your gaze forward, exhale, come on down. One more time, inhale, grip the mat, pull your belly in and up, lift your knees, lift your hips or not, look forward. Exhale, come on down, good. Slide your hands next to you, come on up. And then down dog or skip it. Step your right foot to your right hand. Drop your knee, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fingers to the mat. Lunge and then left foot to right, come to flat back. Stay there or fold, exhale. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart, left side. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, squeeze the air out. Inhale, flat back, lift and lengthen. Nice, exhale, left foot back, drop your knee. Inhale, arms up, lift and lengthen. Exhale, hands to the mat. We're going to come into Sphinx Pose again. So come all the way down on your belly, however you want to get there. Good. Grip the mat. Let's first do Sphinx Pose. So pull your belly in and up, press into the mat, claw the mat with your hands. Good. And then inhale, lift your belly or your belly and your knees. Keep your gaze at your thumbs. 
Good, exhale, knees down, hips down, claw them out and lift your chest. Good, inhale, lift your hips or your hips and your knees. Pull that belly in and up, feel it engaged. Exhale, knees down, hips down, claw them out. One more time, lift, feel that low belly. Good, nice. And then exhale, knees down, hips down. Slide your hands next to you, hug your arms in and up. Nice. And then I'm just gonna say, just step your left foot forward. I, I, I ditched the down dog. Good. Pull your right hip forward, pull your belly in and up, arms up, inhale. Good. Exhale, lift that back leg. Step your right foot to your left, come to flat back. Stay there or fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Nice. Chair pose. So come down to chair. And then pull in your pelvic floor. Pull in your belly. So put your hands on your belly. Feel that's where you're pulling in. Nice. And then from there, hook your thumbs or grab your strap with your hands facing uh, forward, with your fist facing forward if you have tight shoulders. Nice. Exhale, fold. Let the strap come over. Nice. Inhale, come back to chair. And then exhale, hands to the mat. Come to downward facing dog, hang out here. Or come forward to plank. Pull your belly in and up, press the floor away. Chaturanga or Cobra, upward facing dog. Nice, downward facing dog. Excellent, take a moment, catch your breath. Pull them out with your toes, pull your belly in and up. Nice, take that right leg up behind you, bend your knee, open that hip, but equal weight in your hands. Good, inhale and then exhale. Right knee to right elbow. Bring it back, however it goes, towards, good, right knee to left elbow. Bring it back. And then knee to nose, step it through. Come on up and then take your time. Let's do warrior 1.5. So I'm gonna face you. So take your legs wide and then take them wider. Nice. And then turn your hips to 1.5. Engage that left glute. I forgot to mention that. So squeeze that left glute. Good. And then turn your chest forward. Yes. That looks so good. Nice. And then add your arms. And I'm going to grab my strap. So I'm just going to say imaginary pull down. Or if you want to grab your strap, you can do that here because we'll, we'll stay for a minute. Sorry, that wasn't very fluid, huh? Good, so squeeze your belly, squeeze your side body, and then with or without the band, pull it down. Nice, so nice and wide, squeezing those glutes. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, grab the strap or not, and have your palms facing forward. Take your arms behind you, pull your belly in and up. Humble warrior. Pull that belly in and up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Have the strap handy. Come to downward facing dog. Hang out here. Take a child's pose or come forward to plank. Squeeze that belly in and up. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a moment to catch your breath. Press in your feet, maybe grab the mat with your toes. Good. And then pull your pelvic floor in and up, pull your belly in and up, feel your chest go toward your legs. Your knees can be bent, that's fine. Nice. And then on your knees or not, take that left leg up behind you. Bend your knee, open your hip, equal weight in your hands. And then left knee to left elbow. Pull the belly in and up. Exhale. Inhale, bring it away. 
Exhale, knee to right elbow. Bring it away. Good. And then knee to nose, step it through, grab your strap. Take your time setting up your pose. So take your feet like as wide as the whole mat. Try that. Nice. Pull in your pelvic floor, pull in your belly and your side body, engage that right glute. Yes, and so that controls what's going on with your hip. And then hands to your heart, just bring your chest forward. Good job. So you can stay here and just do a warrior one or take your strap or you can do it with your air, but keep your belly engaged and then pull it down. Bring it up, pull it down, bring it up, pull it down, bring it up. Good. And then take the strap in your hand with your knuckles facing forward, pull your hands behind you, pull your belly in and up, come forward. Press your feet, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, good, strap to the mat. Come to downward facing dog, nice. And then bend your knees, inhale. Exhale, walk or float to the front of the mat. Come to flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms up. Nice, exhale, hands to your heart, nice. And then let's take our, uh, let's just do that one more time. So come down low. Good, pull your pelvic floor in and up. Lengthen your sides. Nice. And then come on down. Good. Step back to down dog. You can go right back to plank if that's in your wheel well. You can step to plank. So either hang out in down dog, take a yogi's choice, or come forward, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Try pulling your belly in and up so you can get more extension. Nice. Downward facing dog. All right, so we'll try this one more time. So either on your knees or in down dog, pull your belly in and up. Squeeze your hands equally. Take that right leg up behind you. Bend your knee, open your hip. Keep your weight even in your hands. Good. And then right knee to right elbow. Good. Bring it back. Good. Inhale, right knee to left elbow. Bring it back. Knee to nose, step your right foot forward. Good. And then take your hands wide. Let's come into that warrior 1.5 again. And we'll do that same exercise we did at the beginning. We'll do this pulling out, but let's get your feet situated. So your hips are kind of in line with the left corner of your mat. And then hands on your heart, bring your upper body forward. Good. And then take your elbows against your body. Keep them hugged in and then pull out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. And then this round, let's straighten our front leg. I'm gonna step my foot forward. And again, I'm gonna use my strap. If you don't have tight shoulders, you can use your hands. Pull your belly in and up, nice. And then exhale, come forward, press into those feet, keep them even, nice. And then inhale, come all the way up, strap to the side, bring your hands down, down facing dog. Hang out here, rest in child pose or plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. I'm just hanging in down dog, so I will wait for you. <laughs> Quite happy to just hang out here for a minute. Nice. Take a moment, catch your breath, and then make your weight even in your hands. So claw them up. Pull your pelvic floor in and up. Pull your belly in and up. Take that left leg up behind you. Bend your knee, open your hip. Good, and one last time. Knee to left elbow, exhale, tap. Good, inhale, bring it away. Exhale, left knee to right elbow, tap. Take it away. Good, and then knee to nose, step it through. Grab your band one more time before you worry about the band, take that wide, wide stance. Let your hips come sort of towards the right corner of the mat. 
Then pull your belly in and up, pull your upper belly in and up, pull the side body in and up, bring your chest forward. And then take the band elbows against your body, lift your chest, open, close, open, close, open. Don't forget to squeeze as you pull it apart. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, good. And then bring that right foot in a little bit with or without your uh, strap. Pull your belly in and up, lengthen towards the ceiling. And then exhale, get a stretch in that left hamstring. Nice. And then inhale, come on up, put the strap off to the side, come to downward facing dog. Take a moment, catch your breath. Claw them out with your hands. Pull your belly in and up. And then bend your right knee and bring your left heel towards your right toes. And if you don't know what I'm saying, then just stop and look at me. And then we'll stretch your outer left hip. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. And then switch sides. Bend your left knee. Turn your right heel in. Pressing your outer right hip. Nice. And then come back to center. Lift and lengthen. Step or float to the front of the mat. Come to flat back. Good. Come to chair pose. Lift your arms up. Nice. Come all the way up. Bring your hands to your heart. And then let's step our feet out. We're going to do warrior two. All right, so the cue I'm going to give you is I want you to turn your right heel in line with the arch or the heel of your back foot. And then I want you to look at your back foot. So my back foot is at a wonky angle. So you want to kick your left heel a little bit past your toes, a little bit out, or at least parallel with the mat. That will change the direction of your hips. Good. Then bend your right knee, dig into this pelvic floor, press near your feet. And then hands on your waist again. So cinch like you have a corset on. Pull your belly in and up. Nice. And then let's add our arms. Good. And then inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. And then take your hands in that corset position again. And this is gonna be like the warrior one for our hips. Turn your chest towards that front knee like you're gonna do a warrior one. So just turn your upper body towards the front, but keep your legs where they are. Nice. And then take your left hand, press that left thigh open, come onto your right uh, elbow, or take your right hand on the inside. So you don't over rotate that back leg. Good, now try and stack that left shoulder on top of your right. Pull your pelvic floor in and up, pull your belly in and up, take your hand to your heart and just spin your chest a little bit more. Nice. And then from here, you can reach that left arm up, lift your hip up. You can take your arm next to your ear. Good, find your breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Nice. And then hands to the floor. Downward facing dog, hang out here. Or plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, yogi's choice. I'm hanging out. I'm hanging out and feeling my pelvic floor. I will wait for you though. Nice. And then bend your knees, look forward. Walk or float to the front of the mat. Come to flat back. Come to chair pose and then all the way up. We'll do that on the other side. So take your feet as wide as your hands and then take your hands out of it for now. Turn your left foot so it's in line with your arch or the heel of your back foot, whatever feels good in your body. And then dig in to the corners of your pelvic region. Lift. Hands on your hips. Lift. Pull your belly in and up. Lift. Make sure your back foot is parallel with the back of the mat or slightly kicked out. So look at your own back foot. I promise not to go anywhere without you. Good. Engage both of your legs. Nice. And then arms up, inhale, 
And then exhale, bend your knee. Good. Inhale. Exhale, bend. Nice. Inhale. Exhale, bend. Good. And then hands cinching again. Make sure your knee is not knocking in. So take your left hand on your knee and pull it open. Press your leg into your arm, your arm into your leg. Good. So let's do that with our left hand. Right hand, hand on your uh, waist. Just turn your waist that way. Come forward. And so press your arm into that left leg. Leg into your arm. Nice. And then press your right hand into that right thigh. Good. And then just leave your elbow here, keeping that pressure there, or bring your hand to the inside or on a block. Engage that back leg. Pull this all in and up. And then right hand on your heart, just spin your chest a little bit more. Good. And then reach that arm up, lift your hip up a little, or reach your arm next to you and breathe. Inhale, expand. Exhale, squeeze it out. Inhale, expand. Exhale, squeeze it out. Good. And then inhale, come all the way up. I'm gonna skip the chaturanga here and do a little balancing. So come back to the right side. Take your feet a little bit of shorter distance because we're gonna do half moon from triangle. If you use a block, have your block ready. But this foot position is the same. Back foot is parallel. Front foot is parallel with the long edge of the mat. So good. So pull your belly in and up. Squeeze your pelvic floor. Let's take your left hand on your low back. So pull your belly into your back hand. Good. And then reach that right arm forward. And then bring your hand to the back of your leg. So press your hand into your leg, into a block into your shin, nice. And then left hand on your heart, spin your heart open, bring your left arm up, you pull everything in and up, breathe. Nice, and then bring your left hand on your hip, bend your front knee, and if you're using a block, have it on the ground a little bit in front of you, and then pull that belly in and up. Shift so you're just on your toes, and then kick to standing. Pull that front belly to your back belly. Press in that foot. If you've got it, send that left arm up. Nice. And then with control, come back down. Take your feet as wide as the mat. Let's get those inner thighs. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, good. Inhale, come on up, lift and lengthen. Stay here or hands to the mat or pull your head towards the front of the mat, pull your belly in and up. Inhale, expand. Exhale, pull in and up. Inhale, expand. Exhale, pull in and up. Come all the way up. Let's go the other way, nice. So nice shortened stance. Right foot's in line with the short edge of the mat and left foot's in line with the long edge of the mat. Good. Take your right hand on your sacrum. Pull your belly into your back, your back into your belly. Nice. And then reach that left hand forward. Hinge and bring your left hand to the back of that leg or onto a block. Nice. Pull your belly in and up, lengthen your side body. And then right hand goes on your heart, spin your chest, send that arm up. Nice. And then bring this hand to your hip, bend that elbow, pull this in and up again. Left fingertips or the block about 10 inches to the left of your left foot. You're on your right toe and then pull that belly in and up as you kick up, nice. Nice, squeeze everything in and up. Nice. Bring your leg a little bit higher. Yes, Neva, good. Your leg is going behind you, Neva, so you guys can come on out. So Neva, look at me. Your back leg is trying to like leave. It's like, oh, I'm done with this class. So you gotta pull it more forward. 
You gotta squeeze that right glute. Nice. And then exhale, come on down with control. Good job. Nice, you guys. All right, let's come all the way down into a squat so your feet a little bit closer together. Press your elbows into your knees, your knees into your elbows. Lift and lengthen your chest. Good. And then we're gonna come down to uh, 90, 90, 90. So take both of your shins to the right. Press forward, pull your belly in and up. Take your hands forward. And if you just rather do pigeon, you can. So press though, but press that front shin and that back leg into the mat. Pull your belly in and up, lift and lengthen. Nice. Come back through center. Go the other way. Pull your belly in and up. Press into that shin. Come forward. Nice. Come back up. Good. And then we're going to take our legs together, pull your belly in and up. Bent knee or straight leg, add your arms. So bent knee, straight leg, go all the way to your back. Four, three, two, one, good. Come back up. Okay. And then I want to take a, uh, what do I wanna do? I think I wanna do this first, okay. So I want you to take your right ankle to your left knee and press it, press it away. Neva, I want you to do it this way. I want you to do fire log. So anyone who has super open hips can do fire log. Otherwise, you can do it with your leg like this. And then I want you to press your knee and your hand, your hand into your knee. Nice. And then we'll switch sides. So either left ankles on top of right knee, press your knee into your hand, your hand into your knee, pull your belly in and up, or you're doing fire log. Nice. Good job. And then switch again, ankle to knee or fire log. One side might be different than the other. Pull your belly in and up. Nice. And then one more time. Ankle to knee, fire log. Okay, so this pose we're gonna do by request. First, we're gonna do frog pose. So I want you to take your legs wide. So I'm gonna say like be on the long edge of the mat. I'll show you so you can see me better, but you go on the long edge of the mat because my knees are on the ground. So take your legs really wide and then open up those inner thighs. And I think some of you will really like this, even though it's sort of odd. And then pull your, so take your knees really wide, like really, really wide, like wider than the whole mat, really. Yeah, you don't want to be on your kitchen floor, it'll hurt. Yeah, and pull that belly in and up, get that nice stretch. Nice. What could be coming after this? This doesn't seem good. This could not, maybe this isn't good. This could not be good. Nice. All right, come on up. Okay. You're either going to come into forearm plank or, well, actually, let's all take our hands facing backwards. Good. Pull your belly in and up and just stretch the backs of your wrists. And if this hurts your wrist, then you'll do it sitting up. So you'll just do this or you'll, you're going to do it like this and lean forward. Nice, okay. So take your legs wide, your feet together, and you're gonna take your hands like this. Now, here are your options. So some of you, I just want you to do forearm plank, okay? And pull your belly in and up, that'll strengthen your shoulders. And then you could maybe come up to dolphin pose if you want, and come back down and rest. But uh, this is this is this crazy pose. So Neva, I thought you might want to do it. I think Vicky wants to do it. And um, anyway, so either forearm plank on your elbows if you just did, or you're going to take your hands. So before you go, you're going to take your hands. You're going to face them out, and you want them fairly far in front of you because if your hands are too close to you, you can't lift up. So you're going to bring your hands here. And you don't have to lift up if you want to try this. You're going to pull your belly in and up, shift forward your feet.
feet are together like they just were for frog pose. And then you're gonna shift and lift. So give it a try. So either just do forearm plank, you don't have to do that pearl. Either do forearm plank and dolphin. Nice, Naomi. Make sure your arms are far in front of you, Neva. They're too close to you. Make sure your arms are far in front of you, Vince, much farther in front of you. Vince, take your hands much farther in front. Nice. All right, I can't see you, Vicky. Can you back up? Or are you done with it? Are you over it? You're like, sorry, no, thank you. All right, that was requested. And I'm not gonna say who requested. I don't wanna out anyone. Um, <laughs> so anyway, all right. And then you can do that again, or you can do dolphin pose. So claw the mat, pull your belly in and up, come upside down. So then your head's not on the mat. Nice. And then exhale, come all the way down. Um, I am gonna, cause I wanna make sure I do some back bends tonight. So I'm gonna say, Neva and Emily, if you wanna work on your handstands, I'm gonna say, have at it. I'm going to do some back bends because I haven't been doing them. So um, let's uh, let's come into camel pose and then again squeeze your pelvic floor. Good. Squeeze your sides. Roll your shoulders in, up, and around. In, up, and around. Good. And then fingertips together. Pull your elbows in, and then weevil back. And forth, back and forth. And then reach your hands back. Maybe your fingertips touch, maybe your hands touch. Lift your chest, pull your belly in and up. Nice. And then exhale, stay up or come into hero's pose for a moment. Good. And then let's actually tuck our toes under and stretch our toes for a second. Nice, and then let's do that again. So if that was easy for you, you can untuck your toes, otherwise tuck your toes, pull your pelvic floor in and up, pull your side body in and up, and then fingertips on your tush, pinkies together, pull those elbows towards each other. But see if you can look up, squeeze, maybe bring your hands on your, nice. And then come on up and rest. All right, Neva, I'm going to help you one time. So here's what I want you to do, Neva and Emily, if you want to do your handstand. So the rest of you can take a um, pigeon pose on your back or regular pigeon. All right, so you girls, here's what I want you to do. I want you to just come in a handstand with your feet on the wall. And then I'm going to have you squeeze your legs, squeeze your torso in, let all that cinching, and then see if that helps you hold it. So I'm gonna have you go on the wall. Wait, yeah, so just have your legs on the wall. Hold on for a minute. Oh, there you are. Wow, look at you, Neva. Nice, now take just one leg off the wall, Emily, and pull that belly in and up, pull your side body in and up, squeeze your booty. And then if you wanna take that other leg off, or you wanna just play around up there, that'll strengthen your shoulders just staying up there. Nice. Good job. All right, you guys. Nice, Lyra. Lyra's like, I'm doing shoulder stand. I don't care what you people are doing. Um, all right, it's 6.54. So make your way onto your tushy. Nice. Press in your hands, pull your pelvic floor in and up, lift your hips. Nice. You can stay there. You can just roll your hips up and down. We've done a lot of shoulder work, so you can interlace your hands. That would be really good for your uh, shoulders, Marilee. You can take your hands behind you and come to the top of your head, or you can press all the way up into full wheel pose. So whatever feels good to you. And then when you're ready, come all the way down. Nice. Look at you, Farzane, you maniac. All right. And then let's do a little twist. We didn't do any twists. So pull your right knee into your chest, straighten your left leg. 
Good, and then hold your right shin with your left hand, pull your belly in and up, twist over to the left. There's another twist you wanna do, you know, knee over knee or whatever you wanna do, you can do that. Pull that belly in and up, reach into your right hand. Nice, exhale, come back to center, hug your knees near your chest. Nice, straighten your right leg, pull your left knee in and up, and then grab your left knee with your right hand, take your left hand out to the side, take a twist, pull that belly in and up. Nice. And then exhale, release, hug your knees into your chest, and then you can take your legs straight up. You can go into shoulder stand, make your legs one. Good, I'm just gonna lay on my back, bring my feet towards my face. Nice, and then bring your legs all the way to the mat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end in Supta Baddha Konasana, which is soles of my feet together, knees out to the side, arms out to the side. You can straighten your legs. You can have your legs up the wall. Just take a moment to settle into your breath, to settle into the space. Grab a blanket, grab a sweater, whatever you need to be comfortable for a few moments. And then we're going to end with box breath. So you can sit up or you can lay down, whatever feels good for you, as long as you don't think you're going to fall asleep. So settle in, whether you're sitting down or laying down. Exhale all the way, air all the way out. And then I want you to inhale and imagine that you're drawing the left side of a box. Inhale, draw the left side from the bottom to the top. Hold. And then exhale, let the box go over to the right. Actually, I'm not gonna hold, so let's start again. Just inhale, draw the line up. Exhale, draw the line across. Inhale, draw the line down. Exhale, draw the line across. Inhale, draw the line up. Exhale, draw the line across. Inhale, draw the line down. Exhale, draw the line across. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of holding. Inhale, draw the line up. Pause. Exhale, draw the line across. Pause. Inhale, draw the line down. Pause. Exhale, draw the line across. Pause. Inhale, draw the line up. Pause. Exhale, draw the line across. Pause. Inhale, draw the line down. Pause. Exhale, draw the line across. Pause. One more. Inhale, draw the line up. Pause. Exhale, draw the line across. Pause. Inhale, draw the line down. Pause, exhale, draw the line across. And then just go back to your regular breath. Feel your breath coming in and your breath coming out. Notice if it feels more fluid after the pauses. Feeling grounded and settled. Notice if you like the visualization or it wasn't helpful.
And then whenever you're ready, gently roll to one side. Seal in your practice. And then make your way on up to a comfortable seated position. Bringing your hands to your heart. 